Good morning and welcome to Thursday's morning prayers. As we look at God, the father of creation, we look at what drives the diversity and splendor of our world. But first, join in our opening responses. O oh Lord our God, how glorious is your name in all the earth. High above the heavens, your majesty is praised. Amen. We are participants in a grand unfolding of life that stretches back to time's beginning, an unfolding of matter, mind, intelligence and life. Darwin identified the mechanism by which biology evolves. Small perturbations or changes in the cell's DNA can change a living thing for better or worse. The good survives and the bad dies off. The result is a huge profusion of plants and animals, all adapting to their environment, a radically amazing work of inventive creation. But Darwin was too narrow in his thinking. The process of evolution goes back to the planets and stars, to the creation of light itself. God's creation was not a fixed model, but a creation of potential, one that is still becoming. We supposedly civilised humans tend to have a bias to the sweet and cuddly. We like cats and rabbits but are not keen on slugs, snails or spiders. But the loving fatherhood of God sees all creation as something good. Evolution speaks of both the intention and will of God the Father, giving creation purpose, but also speaks of moving to a future different to the present. It was back in the 13th century that the theologian Thomas Aquinas wrote, the whole universe together participates in the divine goodness. We as humans have the ability of self-consciousness and the potential to be self-reflecting. The Bible speaks of humans as having authority over nature, to be co-creators with God. But such a position brings a responsibility not to destroy, but to protect. Paul writes in Romans 8, For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and the glory of the children of God. The language is of struggle and hope, of a birthing process, all creation caught up with us to journey in hope, eventually to a new creation of freedom and wholeness in the new heaven and earth. Marvel this morning at God's gracious bounty in creation. Reflect on the part you and I can play in the redemption of nature and pray for those whose work for a betterment of the natural world. Will you join with me in this prayer for today? Heavenly Father of creation, we are amazed and joyful at the complexity and variety of the life around us, the glory it brings to you as creator. Help us to take our human calling seriously so that we do not just wonder, but actively help to tend responsibly the created life around us so that we may journey with your creation until we reach the consummation of the new heaven and earth, through him who humbled himself to bring us salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now will you join with me as we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And we close with the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen.